Welcome to Super StarCraft Bros. Diamond Friday. I'm Jay. And I'm Warren Sparks. And let's explode into this one! Chihuahua! Alright guys, we have a PVZ for you guys on not Aklon Waste. No. Kind of the exact opposite of Aklon Waste. Star Station. Yeah, yeah. Boy. Which I just think is a gorgeous map. I, I like this map. You're a gorgeous map. But you know what I'd really like to see? Because I know the next season's coming up, right? I don't. I, I don't. I think yeah, it locked. We, we, I think we watch the games. Started, I don't we know. talk about them. We don't. Yeah. No time to play. Um, I would love to see some new maps, and I'd love to see some some really cool creative maps, like we saw with Core Hall Compound and Cloud Kingdom. I really miss those maps because. You mean the Dragon Ball Z map? I love the Dragon Ball Z map. It was <laughs> awesome. Um, so just throwing it out there. I'd love to see some new maps. And no, I also, I I also like it. that those two were designed by people in the community. Well, I know the ones they're going to be adding into the next season, or if it already started, I don't know. It's going to be ones that won the, the contest. Cool. For map making or whatever. Excellent. Love it. We'll have to do something on that. Because we, like, we get more like, views when talking about updates to the game than the I know, game. I like our most popular videos, the update one. I know, we need to do more updates then. We need to do more updates on the updates. We need to do meta updates. Updateception. All right, like let's up uh, update. All right, introduce players. We ran out of stuff. In our top <laughs> Plus, it's diamond. They might actually be doing something. Top right corner, we have our red Protoss explode. Boom! And the bottom left, I believe, is the blue Zerg Chihuahua. Chihuahua! A uh, strange cousin of the Chihuahua. It's like a what? What's a dog that would have like a sh, like a Shih Tzu? Yeah. It's a Shih Tzu and a Chihuahua. It's a Chihuahua. What would that look like? Um, what is the, <laughs> would it give hair to a chihuahua? I guess. Would <laughs> so it be like a normal dog? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, we have a forge down, so it looks like we got a fast expand. That probe is already waiting for explode. And down at chihuahua! I'll, I won't do that the whole game, guys. There was a probe. Oh, uh, a bit of a block. Like we have that. the pylon throw down, and bam! No chihuahua for you. Yeah, um, it's either gonna, but you know the spawning pool is gonna be out soon, so it's not much of a. It is a minor annoyance, but it's not gonna be much of a delay. And he can also just go ahead and take his third. And it was canceled because he did see the probe go away. It looks like the probe is already ready to try and cancel out the third. Uh, drone does go back, realize, hey, he canceled that probe. Whoa, that crystal got kicked to the side. Did you see that? Well, you know, <laughs> Hatchery's like, get the hell out of my real estate. Uh, let's see. <laughs> That's an angry black woman. <laughs> I don't know. It's Friday. I don't know what's going on. All I know it's a three-day weekend. I don't know. Uh, gateways down with the... I'm sorry, guys. I don't mean... It's just... It's it's Friday. I let all the probes like, I'll hold the wall! Here's my butt. It's so weird. It's so weird. Stop laughing. It's wrong. Hatchery's halfway done. Drones popping out. We have a queen on the way. Both assimilators are coming down for explode. Both players doing a really good job of getting their intro build. And I really, I know that explode did that whole let me drop the pylon, try and delay you. I'm not 100 percent sure if it slowed down Chihuahua enough. I mean, well, and, it slowed it down as much as you can. It does, but I mean, he's gonna have three bases by the time explode is like set up and saturated with his. Ling's moving in, but the cannon's I saw that, there. Bro. You almost left your post. He's like, ah, oh, I better get back there. <laughs> and then he noticed the cannon took out the ling and went, I don't have to do anything. <laughs> I need to go build something. No, you don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to get the cybernetic score. Queen is out for the natural. Creep's already spreading around that because it just popped out. The third is about halfway done for Chihuahua, which is going to be pretty impressive if he has three bases uh, before the nine minute mark. But you know, it's like, eh, hey, you have three bases. Okay. I mean, that, that kind of keeps the Zerg player and a two-based Protoss, I think, on the same, the same level when it comes to army capabilities. Mm -hmm. uh, I love that the Cyber is a little farther back on that. It yeah. does give it a little bit more protection. Um, and he does have Gateway underway. He is getting the Mothership Core. I like that move from Explode. I think that's a must-have for Protoss players. Well, it's really, I think it's really more of a must-have. <laughs> either A, you're going to go extremely defensive, or B, you're going to go extremely offensive. Why you gotta be so extreme? I mean, can't you be moderate? No. It wouldn't be a Because if you're moderate. moderate, you don't need it. Alright, I guess. Because think about it. 
if you're going to be extremely defensive, you're going to want it for the, the, photon the photon overcharge. And if you're going to be extremely offensive, you're going to want to bring it to that base, maybe throw it on a time warp, maybe have recall available so if you're a little bit overcommitted, you can back. But if you're just moderate, you're going for a standard timing push, it's not going to make much of a difference. Like, you can, you can have it for the time warp, but it's not necessary. You're probably not going to have to worry about running back to your base because you're, you know, you're going to have some stuff at home. So... That was a good timing on the inject larva. <laughs> and I agree mm -hmm. with everything you see you said. I actually was listening. I was just... I like that there's a spine out. I think Zerg players need to use more of those. They need more of... They need to have more of a spine? Totally. I mean, they are... Invertebrates. Like, maybe they need to have a little bit of a backbone? Could help. Could help. They're so bad. Alright, but this car was doing a bit of scouting. <laughs> A better way to scout. Uh, Spore Crawler's on the way because he did see the Mothership Core. Um, God, Chihuahua is already ready for anything. I mean, you can't use DTs against it now. Uh, looks like that plate said something offensive to that uh, you know what pylon. This reminds me of? It looks like the pylon is shooting it. <laughs> the sentry's like, here, here, here. I'll make it look like you have powers. But, like, the, the, the laser from the sentry kind of reminds me of, like, the graphics from Wind Waker. You know, like the, like the magic stuff? When you fight, uh... Was the Phantom Ganon? Oh yeah, yeah. I was thinking it fortress. reminds me of the beam from Ghostbusters, but I guess we come from different eras. Well, who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. Do you know they were talking about making a fourth one? You mean a third one? They never made a third one. Damn. Did Can you they... know they were talking about making a third one? <laughs> no, I, evidently I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and there is a Robo Bay coming and an Observer, so will they make the third Ghostbusters? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, no. There's no Terran in the game. Because ah! then you'd have to get a High Templar because they can bust the ghost. <laughs> and give feedback to all their friends. It's Friday. Alright, what do we got coming? We have... Uh, We've got another thing coming. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. I'm just laughing because you are. Uh, Hallucinated Phoenix does do a bit of scouting for Explode. We do have uh, Immortal on the way, but unfortunately it doesn't look like Chihuahua's going Roach. It looks like he's going Muta. And, or Corruptor. Uh, or Corruptor into Broodlords. And I'm sorry, but little Immortal, just he can move his arms up, but he can't shoot up. Maybe it's like... Which is a good thing, means like he can't do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Like the laser. No drugs for you, immortal. That's why you're immortal. It went through day. Day. Dare? It went through dare. I forgot the R in that word. It went through day? It's like, what's day? Is that a new program for rehabilitation? What is that? Oh. It's just drugs are mildly dare. exciting. Uh, <laughs> drugs are really exciting. No, I know. What's it actually stand for? Um. Um. Drugs and something education. Drugs and... Drugs and... What did Dare mean? Um, drugs and... I don't remember. Alright, another Who's Saying Phoenix reveals there are a lot of Zerglings on the field. Uh, they are getting the plus two attack for melee units for Chihuahua. Observer is moving into his base. We have an unclaimed... Vespian Gas Geyser. That's kind of odd. Oh, he barely missed. Oh, he does not get the uh, Spire, but he just gets it there with the Hallucinated Phoenix. And we have Colossus on the way, but we also have 13 Muta on the way, so that's not going to work. At all. What does the R stand for? You're still thinking about that? Yeah. Drugs and... Resistance education? Oh yeah, because you you learn how to say no. Yeah. I think people need to learn that lesson more. No. Hey! You want to go break some cars? Sure. Yeah. Hey, did you hear about those stupid, idiotic teenagers who shot that college baseball player? No. Yeah, they got bored. Huh. They went driving around, found him jogging, because you know he's a... Uh, college scholar. You know who him. they found jogging? That's wrong. That's not right. Floating. Well, Observer goes down. I'm still pissed off. I, I hope those kids get like... I hope they try them as adults. I'm just saying. That's my bent. Now back to it. Giant <laughs> Mutapack. Bless you, Iron Spark. Bless you again. 
going straight for the mineral line at the main base. They are going to get a lot of kills, if not almost all of the mineral line. They halt production, and uh, what do you think they're going to go for? They got they have a buffet of options. They're going to go for pylons. They're going to go for production facilities. How about these colossus? How, yeah, how about some nom nom colossus? <laughs> Run away, colossus pips! Run away, colossus pips! You know, giant small pips. <laughs> it's okay, one of them got picked up, it's safe. I can't breathe. I like how this giant thing can fit in this small war prison. Uh, it's it's technology, man. It's and, uh, cool. <laughs> yeah, man. I can't speak. <laughs> you gotta commentate the game. The mortals might I not be able to shoot up. <laughs> Alright, Explode is moving out a little it's bit. It's been such a long week, I don't know what's going on anymore. It's not even Friday yet. Oh, no. <laughs> I know we're casting this in advance. Alright, there is a small engagement, oh. but you know, these mutas should be able to do quite a bit of damage because the starters are not paying attention to them. Although all the Zerglings are taken out, the, 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 the mutas have all... They can pick their pickings. You know, I think the thing that really saved them now that I can see again, because the tears are gone... Uh, those force fields definitely allowed the Zerglings to get knocked out. The Zerglings were the thing that were really concentrating all the fire away from the Mutas. So you can see clearly now that the rain is gone? Pretty much, yeah. Actually, my contacts were really refreshed now. Um, so it does look like these Mutas might be able to pick off this Protoss well, mini ping pong ball. Since almost all the Stalkers are dead, there's nothing there to, to combat this. And this is a lot of Mutas. Just looking at this, we have... 22 mutas, and I think that's that's just about critical Oof. mass. And with that last Colossus blowing up, we do get the GG from Explode, and uh, Chihuahua takes the win, and the whole shebang. And this is why, kids, you should not shoot up. We're just tired. Just shoot straight? Because that's what immortals do. And if you want to be what? like immortals, shoot straight. You think they'd be able to shoot up? No, I think, like, maybe if, like, you try to shoot the energy straight up, it might... It might go against, like, gravity might bring it down, and it might cause an internal combustion. So you're saying if they shoot up, the plasma will come down and hit them? Yeah, because, like, what I want to think is, in mortals, they kind of, like, charge up the shot before, that's why it takes so long. Yeah. And if you're charging it up, it might not be held in that spot. It might, like, like, guaranteed to be held in that spot, so it might fall down and mess up inside. Or Blizzard just wanted to make the tank version for no. the Protoss? No. Okay. All right, guys, leave a comment down below on how crazy your week's been. Uh, hit that like button. Subscribe, please. Send us in your <laughs> replays at superstarcraftbros at gmail.com. You got it! Took all week. <laughs> superstarcraftbros at gmail.com. That email address, again, is down below. Send us your game. We cast all levels. We have a lot of fun doing it, and most of the time we're kind of awake. But evidently it's more funny if we're tired. So have a great weekend, guys. Enjoy that three-day weekend. We'll have a game for you on Monday. Unless you don't have a three-day weekend. Yeah, if you have to work on Labor Day, I'm sorry. Or if you like your... I did it for years. If your people don't and believe hey, in Labor Day. If you're not in America, be good. Good luck, have fun. GG.